Hi, my name is Connor Taluk and I'm a solutions engineer here at Nearmap. Today I'll be talking about how to integrate Nearmap content with Bentley's Open Roads Designer. All right, so what does this vertical data stack look like in practice loaded up within a CAD environment? What I have here is an instance of Open Roads Designer loaded along with an example data set pulled from Durham, North Carolina showing a sub-development being constructed. So the first type of content that we have is our high resolution vertical imagery. This serves as a base map within the CAD environment and really can ground the rest of our content types in space. Our current generation of camera system is able to offer a 2.2 inch ground sampling distance. And that means that you're able to access fantastic quality for your site on demand, either exported off of map browser or via our APIs. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a screen to the high resolution imagery and show our second content type, which is our planimetric base map that we generate through our AI models. As you can see, the planimetric base map is categorized by the features that have been identified. And all of these features are on their own levels. So you can turn them on or off just like you would any planimetric base map. Our third content type is our terrain and 3D mesh data. So what I did is I loaded that up within open roads here uh, and then generated a contour map. And as you can see, this gives a great perspective on what the existing terrain is doing and can give you more insight on the 3D environment that you're dealing with. Additional functionality that you might be able to use within open roads is doing something like generating a flow arrow map, which is going to give you an indication of how water is moving within your environment. By pairing our flow arrow map with our existing contours that we generated earlier, we have a full picture of what the existing slopes and terrain are doing. Next up, we're going to move over to a 3D model environment so we can show the rest of Nearmap's content within the 3D workspace. Nearmap has a number of 3D products that we generate through the use of photogrammetry on our original source images collected from the aircraft. We generate a textured mesh, a point cloud, as well as raster imagery that is indicative of elevation and can be loaded to create terrain. First up loaded within open roads here, I have a terrain model that was generated from one of these raster images that comes in the form of a geotiff. In this example, we're showing the bare earth scenario of the terrain with things like trees and buildings removed. As you can see, the triangulation is very tight and you have a very high degree of accuracy. Once the terrain is created, you can do things like generate existing contour maps as well as flow arrow diagrams. Further analysis that can be done using these terrain models are things like cut fill evaluation, cutting profiles and cross sections. The next piece of native near map content that can be easily loaded up within an environment like open roads is our textured mesh. Nearmap exports our reality meshes in a number of different file formats, but the best one to load within Bentley is the 3MX file, which can be directly loaded up. So that's it. Here we have shown just a few of Nearmap's content types, which are optimized for use in the Bentley open roads environment. Stay tuned for more engineering focused integration demos to come. For any questions on our content or how to integrate with your third-party applications, please check out docs.nearmap.com for our Knowledge Hub.